This is a model of the lymphatic system. Uh, the model shows the major anatomical structures of the lymphatic system. So all of the white branches that are shown on the model, on the arms, on the legs, all the white branches represents the lymphatic vessels. Uh, the lymphatic vessels move the fluid, which is known as the interstitial fluid, or the lymph. It will move the fluid all along to two major ducts. One of the ducts, which is shown on this model here, the large white duct, that is the thoracic duct. If you follow the thoracic duct, it will connect to the left subclavian vein. So the blue blood vessel shown in here is the left subclavian vein and the white thoracic duct returns the fluid from the upper part of the body, the, the left upper part of the body, and all the lower part of the body, it will be returned to the left subclavian vein. The other duct is a smaller duct. It's known as the right lymphatic duct, and it's shown in here returning the fluid by connecting to the right subclavian vein. So that's the right subclavian vein and the white structure is the right lymphatic duct. The other part of the anatomy of the lymphatic system that is shown in this model is the lymph nodes. And you notice that the lymph nodes are located all over the human body. And some of the major lymph nodes are found in the neck area. So the yellow clusters that is shown in the image here in the neck area, these are the cervical lymph nodes. And the other major group of lymph nodes that is shown in this image here in the armpit area, these are the axillary lymph nodes. And there are also lymph nodes associated with the trachea. So in, the, in this image in here, you can see the trachea, you can see the uh, primary bronchi, and you can see the lymph nodes associated with these structures. The lung is shown on this model also, and if we look, we can see the diaphragm separating the chest from the abdomen, and immediately below the diaphragm, we can see the stomach, and on the left side of the stomach, we can see the spleen, and uh, below the stomach, we can see the transfer colon, and below the transfer colon, we can see the small intestine, and we can also see the lymph nodes associated with the membrane that is known as the mesentery. So these lymph, lymph nodes are the mesenteric lymph nodes associated with the intestinal tract. And uh, as we go down toward the lower part of the body and we get to the leg area, 
and specifically in the groin area we see lymph nodes and these lymph nodes are known as the inguinal lymph nodes. So when the fluid passes through the lymphatic vessel on its way back to the blood, the fluid will pass through these lymph nodes. And the major function of the lymph nodes is to filter the fluid from any pathogen. And that's part of our defense mechanism that is basically associated with the lymph nodes. So that's the basic structure of the lymphatic system.